kind of like, it's just the top of the iceberg and I'm just going to present the tip of the iceberg then. So very little of what I thought was sort of the essentials of what we've learned today. And I want to say that actually I think for the people who are working on the sustainability report and for Open Air in particular, it's been, it's been a very important workshop today. I think we've, we've learned a lot. So um, I was thinking about, first of all, the, the law today, that uh, the legal issues that it seems that reality moves much quicker, quicker than law, right? Um, so for, for, for the uh, sustainability, it's kind of different. It's kind of like the reality moves much quicker than, than the, the, the sustainability models that we have and the way we can organize the technology and the services that we want to make. Um, just then, at the end here, there was a uh, mentioning of maybe not planning too long. Uh, maybe we need to have more this kind of idea of, um, of fail fast, which Joy Ito is a big proponent of, the, the director of MIT Labs. Right, so just coming back to the legal issues, I think one of the things we also learned today is that things move slow, yes. Uh, the copyright law is a big patchwork of uh, exceptions over time. And we have some exceptions that we can use, but they're not really generally usable because they are basically based on that the individual researchers can get some exception that doesn't really work for, for bigger infrastructures like open air and other infrastructure we heard about today. And the best path path or we have right now is using licenses like Creative Commons. So Creative Commons in the 3.0 ported version it's not the perfect solution, but have to do for now. It doesn't deal with the sui generis law. So we have to wait for 4.0, and we hope it will come soon. Um, and what we need to know and we need to do is, even though it's not easy, we need to put these licenses on the data we have in our repository and archives. And, um, I guess it's like, you know, when you started out with the legislation and anti-smoking legislation and, you know, it seemed like an impossible task, but you have to, to start in the, you have to start in the, the small bits first and then hopefully it will change and sometime the, yeah, can't find the, the correct word for that. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I think that was sort of the, the legal issue of it and then I'll, go to the sustainability bit now. So I think it was raised several times, it's, it's not just about the money. So Oya presented her, uh, the, the work she's been doing on sustainability with archive and, and, and having sort of three main issues, which was the sustainability and financial issues, and there was legal and governance. Um, so I think this is, this is very important to get, when you look at the sustainability, it's also finding out who is actually, who's actually the customers or the users, who's, who's actually, what is it actually that we provide that makes a difference. So I think it was interesting to see what they, they've done in, uh, in the Europeana cloud, where they've been working very hard on this issue, like to, to find out what is actually, why is it that, that we are here? What, are, what is it that we provide as a service, which is, relevant and interesting for the users out there. When you have a project like, like Open Air, um, I think you tend in to, to put in a lot of, lot of different kind of services because you have a lot of stakeholders. You want to provide something for all the stakeholders out there. Um, and this can, there is a risk of diluting the mission, the strategy, the overall idea of a, of a, of a, of a project or of a service uh, because you want to provide something for everyone. I think some of the things we learned with the Director of Open Access Journals now is that they are really trying to hard to focus on what is actually the core business of a Director of Open Access Journals. But at the same time, finding out what could actually be a stream of, uh, of funding for the future, finding out what could be funding what you really want to do. So saying that you might want to have a 
major goal or major mission to provide open access to literature, to data, or whatever it is. But you might have to look at something else that can fund that mission, saying that there might be someone else who wants to fund this because you can provide some other kind of service. So this, this is basically also what you could see as uh, you know, commercial services like Mendeley, which was bought by, 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 uh, by Elsevier with, you know, they, they worked on an, you know, the, the content that was open access, that was great for them, but that wasn't about that, it was about providing um, like statistics for customers to see how is the literature in those databases actually, or in the Mendeley actually being used, how it, who reads it. Who, how long did you read it? How did it share? And this kind of metrics. So I have to look at different ways of actually making a business case for what you're doing, the infrastructure or service or whatever you're having. Um, I think this concludes what I have to say here right now. And I want to thank everyone who participated here today, everyone who was willing to present their projects, their services with presentations and who was willing and able to sit in, in the panel today. Um, <coughs> and I also want to thank um, Gentare very much here for helping us out with, uh, with making this workshop today possible. So thank you very much.